<laughs> All right, so today we got something real special because this is from some local boys. The Villains Drift Team, they make angle kits for all types of cars actually. So uh, we ordered some, well we ordered a angle kit from them. It comes with extended LCAs, modded knuckles, and uh, tie rods. And it also comes with tie rod ends, so it basically comes with everything you need. If you guys dig it, then you should definitely go order some because out of like all the angle kits there are, they're pretty much the cheapest one you can buy and they're really well made. So something we'll kind of talk about throughout this whole install video is the fact that they're building a Mahon replica drift track in Walla Walla. We're going to get to work on this right now. Another thing is if you don't know who the villains uh, drift team are, you're out of the loop, but also... Yeah, they have the sick liveries with the massive wings. Fucking sick. Uh, Scott Fam's FD is like pretty much world famous Twin on the charge. internet. Twin charge, two, or is it 2J or 1J? I'm not sure. Okay, well, Twin Charge Jay Z Motor um, in an FD. It's sick. Uh, and if you watch Caleb Quanbeck's channel, which you should, if you don't, why don't you? Uh, his roommate is Scott Fam, the owner of that sick FD. So check them out. So this kit also comes with some uh, some grease. I think you're supposed to use it in the joints. That's not where I use it. <laughs> <laughs> We're actually uh, filming a more male video at the same time as this video. And this, somebody sent us this, so yeah. This is the grease that the kit actually comes with. We hardly ever do videos nowadays where we just do one install thing. So this is kind of throwing it back. Even though we're doing like tie rods, LCAs, and knuckles. But <laughs> yeah, but we're installing the same area. We're installing this one kit of like five parts. Yeah, usually we'll do like some weird random shit. Also, if you do install this, uh, you're probably mechanically inclined enough to know that you should get an alignment after this, but we figured may as well say that. Tie rod installed. Oh man, look at all that angle you already got. Oh, oh that's a spot right there. Yeah, Jeff, we're ready to fucking put the key in the ignition and start her up, dude. So we got the LCA in. Uh, we don't have any cotter pins right now, so we're gonna make a note to come back with cotter pins and do this up properly. That's so that's more or less how it's all gonna come together. It's all very loose right now. All right, so now he's bolting the uh, coil over, the bottom of the coil over to the top of the knuckle. So There's gonna be two bolts here and here. Uh, and then this is where the calipers are going to bolt on. So the only step after this to be able to see how much sick ass lock you have is uh, put that tie rod end on and then feed it through the bottom of the knuckle. Alright, so we don't actually, we kind of fucked up. We don't really know where the center of the steering rack is, so we just kind of guessed. I don't yeah, it know. Looks pretty We'll, looks once it's on. all installed, we can just align it out. So we're, we're pretty, yeah, guessed on uh, where center is. But we've got the tie rod in now, which means we can more or less show you how much angle you have now. So that's dead center. That's Holy crazy. shit. <laughs> oh, oh my god, dude. Yeah, it's not even going to clear back there. Yo, what the fuck? Oh my god. It's yeah, probably, we're probably going to have to Pretty bash out that wheel well quite a bit. Look, it's sick. Holy yeah, so that's... Basically, that's the first impression. Uh, now we're just gonna slap the bearing or the hub on. Done. All right, so Quentin got the hub on, and now it's just down to putting the caliper on, and then that's job done. Basically, on side number one, though. So. so basically, everything is uh, like mocked up. We just we're trying to test it out and then get the other side done. Obviously, we're not gonna be driving the car anytime soon. So well, relatively soon. So we're just trying to check out like what it looks like with the wheel and how much angle we're getting. Basically, everything is just hand tight right now. So we're gonna test her out. And I'll be getting a plus 55 uh, no front meter. fenders. Yeah, plus 55 millimeter front fenders from Fine Line Tuning. Oh, that boy thick. I could have cheap. I got a four. So yeah, it does That's stick like out. 55 millimeters. Yeah, it's sick. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you're already you're rubbing. Oh, on the frame. You're already, yeah. yeah. All we have to do is bash. This thing is easily. Easily bad. Fender bendable. Easily fender bendable. Okay, so we're about to film it. Yes. We're about to find out. <laughs> we're about to find out if uh, the bashing we just did works. Uh, and it doesn't. Sick. All right. So. So everything is hand boned out. Uh, on the other side, DJ was just fucking hammering it hard yeah, like a baseball sick. bat yeah <laughs> but it was kind of different on this side because you had to go like against your own body yeah. all right anders hunter gave it the old smash so hopefully that clears the well we're gonna test it right now well well we're gonna that, test it right that, now. hopefully it clears the well well we're gonna test it <laughs> all 
All right, time to test your. Yeah, well, that direction works. There's that way. Hitting it's fuck. It's yeah. It's hitting. And we'll bash all that shit out later. All right. So now we're testing out. Full lock to the left. Oh and she boy. She clears. She clears. She's there. Damn, dude. That's a sideways tire. So just think, if I'm the road, Quinton will be coming at me at this angle. This car, this sideways. Okay, all the way to the left. Is it crazy? Hell yeah, dude. All right, all the way to the right. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> all right, so we're starting on the other side. Uh, that side went relatively smoothly. There's a couple things we're gonna have to bash out and obviously when I get new wheels, which I'm going to do, I'm getting these super sick wheels that will sometime in the future we'll show you. And uh, obviously things are gonna change with those, but they are the same size as the, uh, they're 17 by nine and a half, which is the same as the MB battles. We got that side basically mocked up like everything else. And then we're gonna do this side. And while I'm doing this side, I just wanna talk a little bit about the racetrack that the villains are building. So basically, it's a super sick idea. There's a wall at Mayhan that's like yeah. like infamous wall yeah. and they're building it like the same exact spec as that oh, wall, shit. which is super sick. So the whole idea behind it is to have fun because um, obviously that's going to be super fun. There's bunches of tracks around here, but they're all uh, built for like circuit racing and there's, there's Pat's Acres, but that's a go-kart track. So this is going to be like a drift track. It's going to be sick. It's in uh, Walla Walla, Washington and that's kind of out in the middle of nowhere. I was talking with Nate, the guy who's building the track. Basically, he's funding everything or all the funding's going through him. So um, he was telling me that there's only a couple people locally to Walla Walla that will be driving it. So basically all the people that come in are going to be people from out of either out of state or uh, at least out of town. They're going to have three events a year, which is it may seem like not many, but a couple reasons why that's the case. One, the events are going to be three days. So Friday, Saturday and Sunday. That's going to be super sick because it's going to be like a fucking party like the whole yeah. time. There's a lot of money involved in this process, obviously, and it's not going to be cheap overall, but they're doing kind of like a crowdfunding type thing where if you pay $500, you get a lifetime membership to the track. And that just is uh, however long the track is operating throughout the lease. I'm not exactly sure how long the lease on, is, on but the there's that. And uh, that's $500 and you get to drive three, nine days every year for free for the no rest in, of- No entry fee. That's a good yeah. deal if you hit a couple. Yeah, if you- there's you a, get one like, event a year for 10 years, that's a good deal. It's like 170 bucks to attend the event uh, if you don't have a lifetime membership. So you go to the event three times and you've already paid for the lifetime event. It's 500 bucks and they need to sell 400 memberships and they've sold actually quite a bit already and they've, they're have they like three days into the, the whole process. Some dude at, donated like a shitload of money too. He bought a membership pass but also just donated a lot of money so that kind of helped out. And also there's, I think the last tally was like 40 memberships have been sold mm -hmm. or something like that out of 400 and there's 30 days, I think it was 30 days, something like that. Let me just say this, 500 bucks is a shitload of money, especially when you're like me and you, that, that's a shitload of money. Count that, you count that. But this track is, would be like, it's not some cool thing that some kids would enjoy for a few years. Like this is like, this would change the drifting landscape. Like it, not only in like the Pacific Northwest, but like the US, like this would be unheard of, unprecedented. It would like, be insane this would be like oh like not a maybe not a worldwide attraction you know if you're from japan you're probably not going to come here to drift a track that already exists in your country but this is big fucking news to the entire drifting world and to make this happen would be like fucking sick we're just trying to make it a little more public um there's also a video that they basically explain everything uh, and we'll have the link to that in the description it's pretty funny and well made shit's coming together you got tie rod just went in lca's in uh, all that's left now is tightening shit up and putting the hub on. And then, uh, we can drop this motherfucker. It's gonna be sick, dude. <laughs> we ran into a little roadblock here. <laughs> the, cali the caliper just so happens to be... Stuck. <laughs> Stuck as fuck. Stuck as fuck. Or you just yeah. Out. Actually, the real reason that uh, people install these angle kits is so that when you're uh, working on the brakes, it's way easier to get in there and... Look at all this space here. <laughs> yeah. You can like get in there and really get a good angle on it. All right, so passenger side is pretty much mocked up. Um, obviously, we're going to go through and tighten everything up before we drive it on the street and out of here. But we're just trying to drop it today. And let me check your sick alignment. <laughs> All right, let's see. It's like 35 degrees right now. Almost straight. All right, we got shit 
installed, checking shit out. I mean, I mean, it's very fun. It's hilarious, like honestly. We, uh, the other wheel is. Uh, so this wheel is straight. So yeah, Quentin's wheel straight. This one is not. <laughs> this one's hitting a sick drift right now. All right, go full right lock and then full left lock. Fuck yeah. <laughs> so oh, sick. Crazy. And then catch the other side. Fuck. All right, it doesn't look that crazy because the alignment's off, but you come over here. It's pretty crazy. And I guess we'll stand back and check it out. Fuck yeah. <laughs> so sick. All right, so Quentin's under there. We're just kind of eyeballing it just to get it com not completely fucked. All right, so we got her more or less aligned, kind of. Fuck! It's fucking so sick. Just camera gang 10,000. And look at it. wait till it's on the ground, dude. That thing's gonna be low, slammed, and. It's that drift fit, dude. It'll be a drift fit, for sure. Crank anchors. Dude, we forgot to do before and after. Fuck it. Fuck the before, dude. After, hell yeah. <laughs> I'm, in, I'm into it. All right, so we're going to drop the car for the first time since it had a Jay-Z in it. Just so that we can test it out on the ground and see what it looks like. But we got to put it back up on stands later because we've got to do the drive shaft still. And we also got to do the sway bar, so. This is just a temporary. Yeah, it's right. not off stands forever. Oh, it'll never be off stands forever. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, look at that big wing. Big wing gang. Look there, Hunter. Mm, yeah, yeah, you're good. And we're sinking. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Should put fenders on it, just to see. Fucking camber, though. Holy shit. Yeah, that alignment is just as fuck. a little bit off. but <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> it's a drift car. It is a Dude. drift car. It's okay, it looks looking. a lot more now to lower, too. That's crazy. All right, guys, we're about to see the 240 roll for the first time with a 1JZ in it. I'm about to drive this bit. Shit. Oh, yeah, time. I think it's a little first bit heavier. Drive, Quinn, how was it? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Yo. That's low, dude. There is nothing there. Dude, dude it's fucking like one finger fitment on with no fenders. Dude, my car's never been so fucking sexy before. <laughs> it is low as fuck. Dude, this is slam fast, dude. Holy shit. Yo. Holy shit. God, we're actually kind of dinguses, but this is fun. Oh my god. Try to put a fender on there. Here you go. Woo! Holy shit. <laughs> Look at that fitment right there. It's like it a fucking. Dude, it looks like it's bagged. Gee, oh what god. the f Oh my god. Alright, so basically we've just been marveling at how beautiful this yeah. looks. Like, this is what DJ and I have been dreaming of. Like, since basically since we started this channel. I don't know what, like, <laughs> we just did the angle kit and dropped it, but it just looks... It looks sick. It looks a world, like a world of difference. And it's kind of like, at this point, it's like coming together, which is like super sick. Yeah, this is it like... looks drift car. So yeah, that's probably going to wrap up this video. The angle kit is dope, as you guys have seen. Thank you, uh, villains. Villains, yeah. Check, check out, out the their, track. check out all of their junk. We'll have it all in the description. Come five hundred, drive the track. Five hundred bucks, and you can drive the you sickest track mention, ever. You don't have to give five hundred dollars. Like, that's the cool way to go about it. But there's a, just a straight up donate button where you can just give them your money. The only thing is, if they don't get the max goal, like what they're re or what they're looking for which is 400 memberships sold at 500 bucks a piece then if they don't sell that then they can't do it everyone's getting refunded probably okay, not yeah. it's probably just not going to happen uh, maybe it will later on down the road or whatever but the biggest chance the best chance to get this dope ass track in Washington is to buy $500 lifetime pass if you are a big YouTuber and you happen to watch our videos or see this video talk about it please check out all their information and just mention it talk yeah we're gonna be there we'll, we'll probably be there every uh every time it's open yeah. all three events of the year we'll be there so in this thing and whatever the fuck i come up with yeah. <laughs> <laughs> rsx <laughs>